We're about to show you a technological innovation that could one day change the way every child in every school in America is taught. It's an online tutor powered by artificial intelligence designed to help teachers be more efficient and students learn more effectively. It's called Conmigo. Conmigo means with me in Spanish, and Con is its creator, Sal Con, the well-known founder of Khan Academy, whose lectures and educational software have been used for years by tens of millions of students and teachers in the U.S. and around the world. Conmigo was built with the help of OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT. Its potential is staggering, but it's still very much a work in progress. It's being piloted in 266 school districts in the U.S. in grades 3 through 12. We went to Hobart High School in Indiana to see how it works. The story will continue in a moment. Good morning. Just a normal day in chem, right? At 8 in the morning, okay. Melissa Higginson knows it's not always easy to get 30 high schoolers excited about chemistry. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. All right. That's what I want to hear. But these days, she has help. This is acetic acid. The pipette's not going to fill all the way. That lesson Higgison has displayed behind her and is explaining to her ninth and 10th graders was created with the assistance of Conmigo. She told the AI tutor she wanted a four-day course in which her students would investigate the physical and chemical properties of matter. This next section is your research section. It took Conmigo minutes to come up with a detailed lesson plan that would have taken Higgison a week to create. You pull that computer back out, you're going to go back to Conmigo Research. And the students have Conmigo on their laptops, too, ready to help them with their questions. We have a couple of questions that we need to ask Conmigo. So, for example, I asked it, what are three examples of acids? And if I want to know more... So like, it gave you three examples of yeah, acids, like hydrochloric example. acid, yeah. citric, like, and sulfuric. Can you give me more examples? And if I wanted to know even more, I could ask it, like, what specifically some of the acids do. Like, so it, it, it's giving you acids, and then it's asking you a question. Can yeah. you think of any other household items that might contain acid? Yeah, so, like, it wants to help you understand, like, what it's telling you and not just, like, give you the information. This school used to be... Finding creative ways to help kids learn is something Sal Khan has been doing since 2005. He'd gotten degrees in math, computer science, and engineering from MIT and an MBA from Harvard and was working as a hedge fund analyst to build themselves when he started recording math tutorial videos in his closet for his young cousins. So if I were to multiply this equation... Not long after, with the help of donors, including Bill Gates, he quit his career in finance and started the nonprofit Khan Academy. From the beginning of Khan Academy, the true north was how do you give more students at least approximations of the type of personalization they would get if they had a personal tutor? A wealthy family can afford a tutor for their child. If every kid could have a private tutor, that would level the playing field. Yeah, that's the dream. Co-founders of OpenAI, Greg Brockman and Sam Altman, were fans of Khan Academy and hoped to evaluate their AI using Khan's database of test questions and content. Conmigo should do it. So they gave Sal Khan early access to an advanced AI technology that today underpins ChatGPT. What did you immediately think? It was pretty obvious this technology was going to transform society. So it, it was pretty heady stuff. Uh, but on the education side, it was like, wow, people are going to be able to use this for doing deep fakes and fraud and cheat. Uh, but if used well with the right guardrails, et cetera, could also be used to support students, to give them more feedback, to support teachers for all this lesson planning and progress report writing that they spend hours a week doing. Item level analysis. Educators and engineers at Khan Academy used OpenAI's technology to build Conmigo. We're going to be using Conmigo for this. And for the last year and a half, the teachers and kids at Hobart High School and others have been testing it out. I'll ask it a question. We sat down with two students from that morning chemistry class, Austin and Abigail, as well as Layden and Maddie, who use Conmigo in business class, and Lou and Lily, who use it in English and for SAT preparation. I heard people at Khan Academy came and, and asked students to break it. Yes. 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 That was the fun part. That was. That was. Fun. I don't, some students would try and trick it into just giving you the answer. The superintendent I talked to said that some students were bullying 
yeah. con me go yeah. for the answer. Yeah. I think that was the elementary school kids. Oh, that were yeah. Doing okay. It. Blame it on the elementary yeah. school kids. Yeah. It's very helpful for those students who um, maybe don't feel comfortable asking questions within class. Does it have a personality? It's very much there for you. Like, it's very positive, it'll, it's very reassuring. It's getting me thinking, and it's not just giving me an answer. Do you ever just want to be like, can you just give me the answer? Yeah. yeah. That was the hardest part for, I know, like me and a lot of other students. Mm -hmm. Like, why isn't it giving me answers? At the end of the day, that's where your better answer is going to be. It's not going to be whatever the AI gives you. Mm -hmm. It's going to be whatever you create. So your hypothesis going into the last test is? Teachers at Hobart High don't just use Conmigo to help plan lessons and save dozens of hours a week. They also monitor their students' understanding of subjects in ways they never could before. You can track how a student is actually using Conmigo. Yeah. I'm going to click Usage. And then if I wanted to pick a specific student, I could come down here and really dive into what that student's been looking at Conmigo. And this is real time because you saw Abigail this morning looking at acids and bases. So wait a minute, these are the footprints of Abigail's these work. These are the footprints of Abigail's work. At 8 a.m. she was asking about acids and chemical reactions. Absolutely. So even though you may not be hovering over the student at any given moment, you're somewhere else in the classroom, right. you can later check, oh, this is what Abigail was looking at. I understand her thought process on, on why she got these answers. Absolutely. So it gives me a lot of insight as a teacher in terms of who I need to spend that one-on-one -on -one time with. Maybe Conmigo throws in a mastery challenge or something. Sal Khan says they won't sell the data they collect through Conmigo or give it to other tech companies. They do use it, however, to improve Conmigo's memory and personalization. It'll guide them to sort of what to do first. Sarah It'll Robertson, a former English teacher who's now a Conmigo product manager, showed us a new feature they've developed to help kids write better and think more critically. I found this essay that I wrote. To test it, I gave Conmigo a paper I wrote in sixth grade about my mom, Gloria Vanderbilt. So go ahead and click Next, Start Revising. After just 90 seconds, Conmigo delivered a very detailed evaluation of my essay. Okay. It liked some of what I wrote. The use of a quote to start the essay is effective and sets the tone for the rest of the biography. But suggested I should revise several paragraphs and my topic sentence. So I'm going to rewrite my sixth grade paper. Go for After it. After a few minutes of tweaking. Ask it what it thinks. Um, what do you think? It says, connecting childhood events to her later life will make her essay more cohesive and insightful. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. good advice. I can tell you, as a former seventh grade English teacher, when I assigned an essay, I would limit myself to 10 minutes per essay. I had 100 students. So it would take me 17 hours to give feedback on every single student's first draft. The burden that we place on teachers to give that specific, timely, actionable feedback is just so great that it, it's not possible. So I've now plugged in. To see if Conmigo could catch me cheating, I asked ChatGPT to write a paragraph about my mom and pasted it into my essay. I now see that there's a critical flag. Conmigo immediately sent an alert to Sarah Robertson. It says that you pasted 66 words while revising from an unknown source. <laughs> so if I click on that now, it's going to load your essay and it's going to show me exactly what you just did. I'm so busted. <laughs> You're busted. Do you want to work with a three-digit or four-digit number? Conmigo is free for all teachers in the U.S., but school districts have to pay up. $15 per student per year to cover computation costs, and it's still being improved. Any other ideas that can show the kind of... We got a hint of how Conmigo might evolve when Greg Brockman, president of OpenAI, stopped by SalCon's office to show us their new vision technology that will be available to ChatGPT paid subscribers soon. We're preparing a demo for 60 minutes to show people what ChatGPT can do with voice mode with vision. It can actually see what someone is doing through live video and interact with them in real time. Brockman was talking with it on his phone. Got it. How about an anatomy lesson? You're going to quiz him and ask him to draw whatever body part you want to, you want to quiz him on and have him label it. How does that sound? That sounds like a fantastic plan. When Brockman pointed his phone's camera at the blackboard, the AI started to quiz me. Let's start with the heart. Anderson, can you draw and label where the heart is in the body? It understood what I was doing, even though my drawing was pretty crude. The location is spot on. The brain is right there in the head. 
As for the shape, it's a good start. The brain is more of a Don't patronize me. It also seemed to pick up on my anxiety. Anderson, how about the liver? Give it a shot and show us where you think it's located in the body. <laughs> okay, this is a little tough. Uh, this is how we learn. Absolutely. No pressure, Anderson. I put the liver on the wrong side of the body. Chat GPT corrected me, politely. Anderson's placement is close, but it's primarily on the right side, just below the diaphragm. So can you critique this diagram overall? Anderson's diagram is a solid effort, especially <laughs> for an impromptu drawing. The AI caught my mistake, but it's not foolproof. The formula is simple. One half times the base times the height. Watch what happened when Khan asked it to calculate the area of a triangle and intentionally misidentified the height. Is this the height over here, this four? Is that right? The AI said he was right. Yes, that's correct. It didn't catch the error. However, this technology improves quickly, and it is fun to interact with. I really, really... Greg Brockman asked it to write a song about the formula for the area of a triangle to make it rhyme and sing it using a British accent. Absolutely. Let's give it a try. To find a triangle space, here's what you do. Multiply the base by the height, it's true. Then take that product and divide by two. Now you've got the area of formula to pursue. How was that? That was really fantastic. That's... I, it's incredible. It is. It feels like we're in a science fiction book, yeah. really. I mean, it just feels like to actually see it, you are, I mean, I'm sort of speechless. The first time you see this stuff, it really does just feel like this magic and almost incomprehensible. And then after a week, then you start to realize like how you can use it. That's been one of the really important things about working with Soland and his team has been to really figure out what's the right way to sort of bring this to parents and to teachers and to classrooms and to do that in a way so that the students really learn and aren't just, you know, asking for the answers and that the parents can have oversight and the teachers can be involved in that process. You can ask a follow-up question. Sal Khan hopes this new vision technology can be incorporated into Conmigo and available to students and teachers in two to three years. But he wants it to undergo more robust testing and meet strict guidelines for privacy and data security. I can imagine a lot of teachers watching this and thinking, okay, well, this is just going to replace me. Why would I want this in my classroom? It's like a Trojan horse. I'm pretty confident that teaching any job that is, has a very human-centric element of it is as long as it adapts reasonably well in this AI world, they're going to be some of the safest jobs out there. You think there will always be a need for teachers in a classroom talking with the student, looking the student in the eye? Oh yeah, I mean that's what I'll always want for my own children and frankly for anyone's children. And the hope here is that we can use artificial intelligence and other technologies to amplify what a teacher can do so they can spend more time Good job. standing next to a student, figuring them out, having a person-to-person -person connection. Two tens. Two tens, you got it. Good work, Ayla.